M0FXB, just a quick video, more for myself really, to remind myself of the wire connections to make the Bluetooth module work with an MMDVM hat and a USB to serial converter. So the HCO5 is the Bluetooth module and I'll put a link in the description of how to program that. It's quite straightforward really. You get the CP2102 USB to serial. Now you do have to splice some wires to run the MMDVM hat uh, I will show you this live, but basically you've got three volts going to the the pin here. So if you've got the block, it's the bottom, the one furthest away from you. I'll show that in real life. Then you've got TX to RX. So here's the HCO5, it says RX here, TX. All these are marked on the actual device. Then you've got RX to TX, nice and easy. And then you've you've also got to splice those two wires and the RX and TX on the MMDVM hat are here so the outer one on the block so I suppose pin number one two I suppose is the TX and then one two three number four is the RX now the the pin which will, I would say one two three four five six seven eight nine pin number nine is your three volt live that's and that three volt live is running the MMDVM hat so once you've got those four pins, the hat will work. And if you had that on a, on BlueDV on your PC, that would work. You don't need the Bluetooth module. But if you want to connect your mobile phone and use Bluetooth, a Bluetooth connection, then what you need to do is sort of splice it all in. So you you are going to have to run from the USB to serial CP2102. There is a 5-volt feed that you can take and bring it to here uh, where it says 5 volts. So it's the second pin in from the bottom. It actually says... Five volts. Uh, look it up. It might say the words EN or something, but um, or it could be VCC actually. Then you've got the three volt one underneath that. So it's, well, the three volt is still. Let's have a look here. Three volt. I don't think we're actually using that. We don't need to connect that to the. Yeah, the three volt one coming from the USB to serial. Three volt only goes. To the MMDVM hat, so you don't have to worry about it. The five volt comes the second pin in goes to five volt to five volt. It's really important that you get this correct. Five volt to five volt, ground to ground, but with a splice. RX to TX with a splice. I think that's everything, and then it works. So this is more for me. I know it's a bit untidy, but it, it tells me how to configure my Bluetooth adapter or Bluetooth HCO5 with a USB to serial and an MMDVM hat so I can get all modes MMDVM. Bye for now. Just a quick video. We've got finally got this working on uh, digital with Bluetooth controlling it with my phone, not my PC. Now we've got the HCO5 Bluetooth module. I'm just going to show you the wires if I can. Zoom in. So you've got three volt there, then you've got TXRX going, and you have to splice the wires, and you have to run the TXRX to the HC05 and the MMDVM hat. Just splice the ones that you need, which is R TXRX ground, and then the purple is the three volt live, and then you do need to take a five volt live as well from the CP2102 serial, which goes here in the brown color. Uh, so you've got five. So this actually ends up being four wires in the HC05 Bluetooth module, which there is a configuration, which I'll, I'll, I'll link in the description. So you're, you're basically linking the Bluetooth module, the Bluetooth module here, HC05 to the CP21. Oh, so you're linking them, then you're splicing, so you can then connect the MMDVM hat. But then with the final configuration, you're, only, you're making sure you've only got one three volt connection. Bye for now. 2E0, uh, Fox, oh, sorry, I have got the call sign, but I definitely recognize the, 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 uh, the voice. How are you doing? Are, are you okay? M0FXB. Right, looks like we've got this working. Here are the wires. Now you can hear it on analog. And that's because I've got two radios going here. The B band is on analog, the A band is on digital. Let's turn one off. 
Yeah, you know me, I'm always experimenting. I've just got this uh, MMDVM hat, a Bluetooth module, and a USB serial converter running um, into Hubnet, but via, digit, via C4FM. So yeah, I'm expecting the audio to be a bit, a bit weird because I'm testing, but how are you keeping? You okay, you're ready for Christmas, M0FXB. And that's me going in via digital. Hopefully you heard me. Digital there. So I finally got this working. Four days off. How about yourselves? And then we're controlling it with my phone, of course. Yeah, go ahead. 